Hey everybody, it is Elle, and I am here reading about Amy Lynn Bradley. She was just a young girl, early 20s. Disappeared while on a cruise with her family. So very odd. Imagine going on vacation with your family and then one of you is gone and you have no idea why. That literally is what happened with poor Amy. She had been on the cruise with her mother, father, and brother. And they'd her and her brother had been out um, partying at a basically a club on the cruise, dancing, having fun, and uh, her brother went back to the room, and then later Amy came back to the room as well. Now, there is some videotape of her at some point that night or the next morning. I'm not quite sure when it was, but of her with one of the band members that was playing in that band. Yellow was his name. Um, what they called him. His real name was Alster Douglas. And he, um, a lot of people felt he was suspicious because he was the last man seen with her. So what happened was that night her brother went back to his room and Amy followed him soon after and her father saw her in the room on the balcony and she, he thought she actually fell asleep out there because he woke up a little bit later and he could look out and he could see her like legs and it looked like maybe she was just falling asleep out there. And then he got up even a little later after that, like early in the, the next morning on March 24th of 1998, and she was gone. And her shoes were still in the room, all of her shoes. So that leads a lot of people to speculate that she went overboard somehow, which is odd you know she was having the time of her life she was having fun it wasn't like she, this was a suicide that i could see in any way so what people are speculating though was earlier in the trip some of the crew members wanted to take amy off ship with them when they docked at curaco i think it's pronounced curaso something like that it's an island and they wanted her to come out there to a restaurant with them and she didn't want to go with them. And uh, so they, they seemed to be paying a lot of attention to her is what her family said. And they were worried that Amy may have been kidnapped by these people or sex trafficked by these people. And that is a possibility. It gets even weirder because several people have come forward and actually said they've seen Amy. She had certain tattoos and they, said they saw her tattoos um one person was a well t canadian tourists were on a beach and they believe amy was on that beach trying to walk up to them and then was diverted another person in the navy went to a brothel and he said the, the lady in the brothel literally told him her name was amy lynn bradley and was asking for him to help her and he said it looked like Amy. He saw her face on People Magazine, and that was her. So there's been a few sightings. Um, some women in a restaurant said an Amy from Virginia walked up to them and asked them for help at one point, but then was um, some men quickly, again, got involved, and they weren't able to help her. So there's questions on whether she's still alive or not, whether she was kidnapped, whether she went overboard. So that's what we're going to read about today. Um, we're just going to start at the beginning and just ask if she fell overboard. So we're going to go from there. I'm just going to take a second to focus on Amy. I've got her picture in my head and I'll just ask that the information that comes through, um, come through me, but not be of me, not be of my mind. Let these not be my thoughts, but more of a higher power coming from the powers of the universe. And we'll continue there. So tell us about Amy falling overboard on that cruise ship that night. Tell us about Amy falling overboard. What I'm going to do is pick a card for yes and pick a card for no. I like to do yes and no's that way. It seems to be the best way that I get information. So tell me about Amy falling overboard. Okay, we have actually got two cards for Amy falling overboard. Um, tell me about um, her not falling overboard, something else happening. And when I said something else happening, it got really hot. <laughs> I do read energetically with my hands. I feel warmth when I'm drawn to certain cards. Tell me about Amy uh, not falling overboard. 
got that one. So these are for, yes, she fell overboard. Um, this is a loss and a victory. When I get these cards, it feels like um, there was a, a loss. Her cups are spilled. I do see that. And there is a victory too with a man. So as for her falling overboard, I'm, I'm not seeing falling overboard here. I'm actually seeing, it looks more like there was some sort of victorious, maybe taking of her because this is a person coming back from war that has won the battle, that is the victor, that has, you know, when, when pe people will come back from war, you gotta remember they would come back with their loot, right? They would take things and they would bring them back and they, you know, sometimes it would be women. Um, being that I'm getting those two cards together, a kind of the victor that won the spoils and the loss that her family endured, I'm questioning that whole overboard thing. Um, but let's look at the word no. So no, I feel is a no. I feel like um, I feel like justice is not um, served here. Is what I feel. I definitely feel like there's. It does look like this was more of a nefarious situation. So we're just gonna keep reading on this. Uh, some people say she left on her own. I really don't think she did. But let's just ask: Did Amy leave on her own? Because some people feel like, oh, she could have snuck off that cruise ship it doesn't sound right but being that that is one of the theories i'm going to go ahead and read on it so tell us what amy leaving on her own it's this first card here um no i don't think she did i see her in the spotlight right and we did talk about that some people were putting her in the spotlight and i do feel like that's what happened here this is the three of uh, pentacles and it looks like some people were very interested in her i do see that um i'm curious about what was going on there that three of pentacles is a planning card too um i do feel like maybe people had plans and acted on them is what i'm seeing okay um the next morning too i believe some people said they saw her with that yellow guy the bass player from the band which with those plans makes me a little nervous why i don't know why but this yellow is jumping out at me that he's wearing this little bit of yellow there it just like is jumping out at me and this guy's yellow being victorious is jumping out at me so let me just ask is, is yellow involved i do have that as one of my things here but i don't know why yellow is really jumping out at me here tell me about um is yellow involved in this he he says no the yellow guy says no he was the one who last saw her uh, mr uh Alistair Douglas. Tell me about this uh, yellow person being involved in Amy's disappearance. Yeah, I think he was. You know, honestly, there's this whole kind of um, waiting, watching, and then this is a very dangerous card here, this whole five of uh, swords. That's people harming other people, people only thinking of themselves, people doing things because they want to not caring about the other people and i see that sword as also like a plan the whole communication thing going on with um, possible other people as well but i do feel like there was something uh, going on here just this whole watching and waiting for this chance watching and waiting for a chance it doesn't look good i don't like what i'm seeing here and again, I'm being drawn to this, you know, this person waiting. And look at this big yellow uh, kind of an, a halo or whatever on their head. It just, the yellow is really coming out at me in all these cards. It's the first time I've been talked to, the, car, the cards talk to me with a color, but today they are. Um, I, I'm really concerned about this yellow person, especially when you get the five of swords. I mean, that's somebody who's really out to harm other people, doesn't care about them only thinking about themselves. Uh, okay, there's a photo. Let's let's back up. Let me ask if she was sex trafficked or kidnapped. Let's go with kidnapped first. Well, tell us about Amy Bradley being kidnapped and then we'll move on to sex trafficked. If, if that's the, that is the direction I feel like we're going here. Tell us about Amy Bradley being kidnapped. They said she was a very strong swimmer and the, the ship was not far from shore. So the thoughts were even if she fell over, she could have swam to shore. It wasn't like that far. Um, 
Okay, so this was Amy being kidnapped. This is a worrisome card. You know, this is a guy and the King of Wands is a sexual king. He's someone who is has sex on his mind sometimes. And in this card, I do feel like that is the um, situation here. And then we have this whole Four of Wands with um, a couple. And I hate to say it, but it almost does remind me of like the brothel when you could go in and, and couple with somebody. I mean, it's just this whole situation, it does kind of make me think of sex trafficking or, or somebody who wants to um, use someone in a sexual way. Not what I wanted to see. So let's ask about sex trafficking. Tell us about Amy being sex trafficked. It's, it's, this reading is not good. Tell us about Amy being sex trafficked. Tell us about Amy being sex trafficked. Um, yeah, unfortunately, that tells me that is what happened. You know, we've got this whole heartbreak. I feel like it was more than one pe person. I felt that before with this uh, Five of uh, Swords. I felt like there might be three people involved. We also had this Three of Pentacles where it looked like po potentially three people involved. And now we've got this um, Three of um, Swords where the plan was three people, I do believe, were involved in her um, disappearance. And this tells me, yes, that's true, that everything that I just said about her um, being kidnapped and being sex trafficked, it looks like that is what's happening. Um, this, too, is a good card for things being solved someday. So I do feel like that is what happened with her. I do feel like she was sex trafficked. That's pretty horrible, isn't it? Um, and I do feel like the yellow guy was involved. I do. Again, I'm being shown this whole King of Wands. Look at the color of this throne that he's sitting on, the color of his crown. Yellow, yellow, yellow. It just keeps coming through to me. And the background of this card also is very yellow. Um, I just don't think this is a good situation at all. <sighs> okay, her parents later were shown um, a photo. And... The, show, the photo was from an organization that locates sex trafficked people and tries to like find them and you know save them from the situation. They sent a photo to Amy's parents that they believed was her. It was a girl kind of dressed in like a lingerie, laying on a bed, um, posing for an ad that you know people come and um, use her as a prostitute, basically. So um, let me ask if that was her. This was a, the girl in the photo was named Jazz from the Caribbean. Sounds like people tried to locate her to no avail. So is Jazz in that photo um, Amy? Was that Amy? People do think that it was Amy in that photo. Even her parents think it was her. <sighs> Tell us about that being Amy in that photo. Uh, that's really sad, isn't it? Because that's a girl bound up, tied up. Um, held captive and that's really what looks to have happened here it does make me feel like it is her in, her, in that photo it makes me feel like that was her um, yeah yeah just it's it's really a bad I do feel like that was her um, we're also going to ask about um, let's see, the Navy man, a guy from the Navy went to a brothel. Well, I'm guessing he may have even slept with this person. He didn't go that far, but he said a girl was um, telling him she was Amy, Amy Lynn Bradley, and begging for his help. Now, he was in the Navy, and you're not supposed to go to brothels, so he didn't say anything until later when he saw her face on a People magazine. So tell us about that man from the Navy. Was that Amy? It really feels like Amy was sex trafficked. That's what these cards are telling me. Was that man from the Navy? Did he sleep with Amy? Was that Amy? Um, very interesting here. We've got two horses, the Knight of Pentacles and the Death card. Really sad. Um, it, that may have been Amy at some point. Uh, I see this person pleading. <sighs> For help you know and this person really not doing much about anything the knight of pentacles moves very slow right and that's kind of what happened with our 
reincarnated that he moved very slow this card does make me wonder if amy is still alive she may have paid a price for this uh for some of the things she she did she's begging for her life i do feel like that was her just because i keep being drawn to this guy who literally is begging for his life and this man not really doing much at the moment moving very very slowly on it that too feels like her uh let's ask if that was canadian tourists saw amy on the beach was that amy on the beach that canadian tourists did see was that amy on the beach that canadian tourists saw Again, it does feel like it was her. We've got this very scared girl and these people kind of fighting down here. And that's what happened. The men were started fighting with her. They were angry. You know, this card and this card look so much alike, don't they? It's very scared girl. Things, things your nightmares are made of right here. And um, we're going to ask about the Amy from Virginia in the restroom. Was that Amy in the restroom? Women said they saw her in a restroom. So was that Amy? And some guys stopped her from uh, from from them helping her. And again, we've got the devil card with somebody being held captive in chains from their family. I mean, it's it's all here. I can I can read these cards and see. It does look like, uh, and some of these people have said she had the same tattoos. She told us her name. You know, it just um, it looks bad so let's ask about um amy's current physical state her family the reason i'm asking this is her family actually had her declared dead at some point um because they didn't think she was ever coming home so let's ask about amy's current physical state so we're going to pull a card for alive and breathing in a body or is she passed on um as a beautiful spirit so tell us Amy's current physical state, alive, walking in a body, or passed on in the spirit world. Is she in a warm human body, or is she um, passed on in the spirit world? Uh, running out of room here. Let's go over here. Tell us about current physical state of Amy. All right, we've got this card. Um, this is the Queen of Cups. It does make me feel like she still is alive. Yeah. It does. Makes me feel like she's still alive. That was 98, so that would have been uh, 2008, 2018. She would be in her 40s now. But that's what it looks like. All right, so I'm just going to ask for cards to represent Amy today. Tell me about um, what's going on with Amy today. Card to represent Amy today. Tell us about a card to represent Amy today. We've got two. Um, we've got a King of Cups and we've got kind of the world. And that I do feel like that with this Queen of Cups. It's like she's with a man. Um, and the King of Cups, like a partner overseas. We've got the overseas card. She's overseas and we know that she is overseas. I do feel like there may she may actually be in a relationship with somebody. Um, that is the feeling I get. Uh, and, and, and what I feel like is that it's not a horrible relationship. Because um, the King of Cups and Queen of Cups are kind of a good match. Um, it feels like she was sold. Sold. Um... I'm just going to ask about Amy ever coming home. Tell us about Amy ever coming home. Uh, sometimes when people have been through these terrible things, you know, and maybe they, people get them addicted to drugs and all kinds of stuff uh, to keep them. Um, they don't feel like they're ever worthy of coming home. So tell us about Amy coming home. I don't see that happening. I see that as a possibility, but there's a refusal here, and I do feel like it's just because of all this in her past. I do feel like all this in her past is um, 
and it's just too much you know she's a whole different person now than when she was back then when she was with her family on that cruise ship <clears throat> i think she's really been uh, i see like a bottom of the barrel i think she's been down to the bottom of the barrel and uh is not anyone that even could relate to that lifestyle or that family anymore i do feel she's alive i feel like she's seen the the, the worst of life i do feel like maybe they've got her addicted to drugs tell me about her being addicted to substances uh, that that seems to be a, a feeling here tell me about her being addicted an addict uh yeah i do see see he's giving her he's like a pimp kind of think of giving her stuff giving her stuff giving her stuff and this guy you know kind of ruling things so i do feel like there is somebody that um kind of rules her gives her stuff she's accepting it here you know i feel like unfortunately that is uh her situation and it's got her so far off the path that she was on that she, I don't think it's going to ever come forward. Not that I see. I think she's kind of adopted this other personhood, if you will. Um, doesn't feel like she's even part of that old lifestyle anymore or that she would be accepted as she is. They want, She doesn't feel like they wouldn't want her because she's so different now so different that's what i feel okay that's my reading on amy lynn bradley um i don't even feel like she wants to be found anymore just because of who she is and she's kind of like put that old life behind her i know that sounds really weird but you go through horrible things and you get addicted to drugs and you're so not the same person that you were when you left on a nice cruise having fun with this clean cut, nice family. She's a very, very different person is what I see here. Very different person. And she, um, yeah, she, she just feels so alienated and different and like no one they uh, could even, or she could even relate to them anymore. Yeah, very, very different person now. Okay, that's my reading on Amy Lynn Bradley.